Welcome everyone. So today we are going to discuss the screen Coulomb potential. Okay. So today we will evaluate the differential cross section for the screen Coulomb potential. Fine. So the topic for today is screen Coulomb potential. Fine. So the screen first thing you need to know is the screen Coulomb potential is given as V of R is equal to minus of Z E square divided by R into E to the power minus R divided by A. So this is your screen Coulomb potential. Now you know in the bond approximation the scattering amplitude which is F of theta is given as minus of 2m divided by H cross square Q into integration of 0 to infinity R dash vr dash into e into sine of ur dash into d r dash fine now just just put the value of vr from here in this expression okay so what we will get is minus of 2m divided by h cross square q in integration 0 to infinity r dash into vr dash what you will have you will have minus z square divided by r dash to e to the power minus of r dash divided by a into sign of q r dash to d r dash now few thing you can see here is the r dash will get cancelled okay and this minus and this minus will cancel and you will have plus okay so what you will get is the and you see the z square is a constant so you will have 2m times z square divided by h cut h cross square q integration of 0 to infinity the r dash will get cancelled out e to the power minus r dash by a into sine of q r dash to d r dash now you see this is a trivial uh, this is a trivial integra integration you can solve it directly you can write it directly as f of theta is equals to 2 m z e square divided by s cross square q integration of 0 to infinity e to the power so this integration let me solve it directly for you so this will be this key. Uh, this q divided by the coefficient of r that is 1 by a squared plus this q squared okay so this is a trivial integral we directly i directly wrote it from the formula so you will have 2m times z e squared divided by h cut square q q if you take a lcm in the numerator you will have the a square in the in the numerator if you take the a square as LCM in the denominator, you will have a square in the numerator because that will come here. Okay, and you will be left with 1 plus a square q square. Now just do one thing multiply and divide by q. So if you multiply and divide by q, what you will have? See, you will have 2m times z e square divided by h cross square. This will become q square as we have divided by q. And in the and here you will have a squared. This will also be q squared divided by one plus a squared q squared. So you can also write it as you can also write it as f of theta is equals to two m times z e squared divided by h cross squared q squared. So I'm just uh, manipulating this term. You can also write it as one minus one divided by one plus q squared a squared. You can check it these both of these are similar okay now this quantity is called f of q okay quantity is called f of q so if i write it as f of q you will have f of theta is equal to 2m times z e square divided by h cross square q square times 1 minus f of q okay what happens is now what happens is uh, as we are discussing now the screen coulomb potential if uh, in the pure coulomb scattering you will have a tending to infinity and that if a will tend to infinity you know if this a will tend to infinity this fq will obviously tend to zero okay so this is the case for pure coulomb scattering okay pure coulomb potential and in the case of pure coulomb potential you will have the rutherford scattering rutherford scattering now if uh, you know uh, that if f theta if f theta is this what will be the scattering cross section that will be basically d sigma by d omega is equals to f of theta 
squared so square this quantity you will have 4 n square z square e square not e square e to the power 4 divided by h cut to the power 4 q to the power 4 right right into 1 minus f of q whole squared so this is in the case of your screen column potential now for the red of 4 the other four scattering I said this FQ will be zero, so you will be left with D sigma divided by D omega. This is I am solving now for the other four scattering. Other four scattering, and the above line is for screen Coulomb potential. This is for screen Coulomb potential, and now I am solving for the other four scattering. So for the other four scattering, you will have four m square j square a to the power four divided by h cut square h cut to the power four into q to the power four this fq will be zero okay so this will you will be left with now do one thing you know q is given by let me write this formula in better form q is given by 2k sine theta by 2 so what you will have as q to the power 4 you will have as q to the power 4 2 to the power 4 is 16 k 4 sine 4 theta divided by 2 okay and uh, also along with this you know that e is given by <coughs> So e is given by h cut square k square divided by 2m. So if you do e square, you will have h cut to the power 4, k to the power 4, 4m square. You will get to know why I'm doing this. So if you see 1 by e square can be written as 4m square divided by h cut to the power 4, k to the power 4. See, here you, you, you will have the term just. And we will now make the replacement of these two terms in this expression and write this expression in the better form. So let me first put the value of q, q to the power 4 from here to here. So you will have 4m square z square e to the power 4 divided by h cut to the power 4. Let me write the value of q to the power 4 as 16 k to the power 4 sine to the power 4 theta divided by 2 so this you will have okay now just let me put it aside let me make a box over it now get back to the expression hour now you see this 4m square this 4m square and h cut to the power 4 let me write it separately 4m square divided by h cut to the power 4 into k to the power 4 and with this we have the remaining as z square e to the power 4 divided by 16 sine 4 theta by 2 okay just replace this expression from in here you can write as 1 by e square you can write this thing as 1 by e square so you will have z square e to the power 4 divided by 16 of e square sine 4 theta by 2 so this is your expression for d sigma by d omega in the case of brother ford scattering okay this is the d sigma by d omega in the case of brother ford scattering so that's all for today thank you very much